It's a huge honor to be given this award. And I just want to make a very, very short response because first and foremost, this is your day. Um, I want to, before I say that, some of you might have seen me in photographs wearing a Nigerian outfit, yes? And the gele? Uh -huh. But you can't wear a gele and an academic hat at the same time. <laughs> so the gele is for tomorrow. I want to use the theme of dreams because you have all achieved an extremely important dream that you must have had and that is to qualify in your chosen career and to come here today and have it presented to you, your certificate. So huge congratulations to you all. And I know that you must have gone through so many challenges and particularly during the pandemic. Um, congratulations. So I want to give you two other examples of dreams. I love reading and I hope you all love reading. Or you may like audiobooks, you never know. President Barack Obama wrote his first memoir quite some time ago now and called it Dreams from My Father. If you haven't read this book, I would suggest you try and dip into it because just as you have achieved your dreams, your dream, this is the first dream, you surely will have more dreams that you would like to achieve. You may achieve some, you may not achieve some. But the challenge is to have a dream, or in fact, plenty of dreams. And don't be put off by any of the barriers that are placed in front of you. And that's why I suggest that you do dip into President Obama's dreams for my father. Because we can assume that individuals of such stature have had it quite easy. This is why I'm quite addicted to autobiographies and biographies. Because I want to learn about the backgrounds of people who have achieved, those that haven't achieved as well because we can always learn something. My final example of a dream is my own. I entitled my memoirs, Dreams from My Mother, because as you've heard, her dream was to achieve her academic qualification at Cambridge University. And in that era, she didn't feel it would be possible to have such a career as a single mother. Today, I think things have changed enormously, thank goodness. And so, this isn't a plug for you to go out and buy the book. I wouldn't dare do that. But if you are curious, you can go onto my website. Because I think I'm now realizing that it has come as a surprise to people when they have learned about my childhood and early adult life that I have achieved um, in this life. If I have achieved, you can achieve as well, and you have demonstrated it here today. Thank you so much.